And it's a fact of 50 as well. <laughs> Loads of hairs in there. Stuck to there. If he wants it, he can have it. He's a cheat. He's a cheat. Flew in CMC, came to party old school. When there were no scripts and there were no rules. Flat beats and women separate. I think the first essential item you need to take with your <laughs> is your phone. I might as well do it at the same time. Yeah, you might as well take your phone out as well. Phone. I just think obviously we're away in Qatar at the World Cup. Um, and yeah, we're gonna be away from our families, our friends and I think it's really important that we still interact with them, so the phone's really important. Connecting with the fans after each game, and then you've got, you know, family, and then obviously capturing the moments, and yeah, it's important. If you score or have a worldie of a game, you'll get loads. Yeah. But if you have one, you're getting no text. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you have a stinker, yeah. <laughs> phone's you have a stinker, no like, one's Open messaging. it, nothing on the hood. <laughs> Next, my iPad. I'm a big fan of watching films and stuff. Obviously, we're in a hotel every every other night so it's important that we have something to keep us occupied you know um, with my club um, and obviously at the world cup it's going to be similar where you know i've got a lot of time to myself in a room and i want to keep myself um, entertained my second essential item is a laptop not an ipad i feel like they're just uh, an essential item you have to take like jude said really to watch films mainly go on netflix kill spare time you've got time to rest in the afternoon you can you can watch something have you watched prison break before series yeah yeah i've re-watched that recently because i was only like 14 when i thought that is unbelievable see i disagree you didn't like prison first break. two series uh, seasons are good but after yeah that's that, what mate. i stopped after that okay, i only yeah, watched the first right, two yeah, sound, <laughs> then yeah, i stopped yeah, makes sense yeah the first two are top but after that i didn't yeah it didn't it went a bit out of hand yeah what good films old films are that we can agree on Shawshank. yeah Shawshank redemption that's probably the Goated, one. yeah that's the good film so good i watched the godfather the other day you yeah, godfather? So yeah. good fellas yeah good like fellas yeah, yeah 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 big boy films yeah next essential item for me is sun cream mm. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a fact of 50 as well <laughs> which is good obviously i'm quite yeah as you can see pale so my mum's going to be texting me for sure saying, put your sun cream on. If you don't put the sun cream on, you know, I won't be in a good book. So, yeah, Factor 50 is coming with me. Mate, I'll, my face is going to be red raw at half time. Honestly, I'm going to be boiling. <laughs> Listen, I might come back and I'll look half decent. If I don't, it'll be embarrassing. So, yeah, hopefully that helps. I always have a pair of slippers. It does. Yeah, always. Um, I just like around the hotel. I'm not really a big fan of walking in shoes, to be honest. I just feel like they're too tight sometimes and obviously, I want my feet to feel relaxed and whatever, but yeah, I just like chilling, really like feeling uh, relaxed. So yeah, always a pair of slippers. I've got some like Uggs that I use at home, some like uh, house slippers that are like sick, but like I've, I'm so scared of losing them because they're like, if I lose them, I won't, my schedule at home will be all over the place. So I have to use the hotel ones whenever. Like it's the first thing I look for when I get into a room. You know what, St George's has really good slippers, you know, just so <laughs> comfy. Like my toes just feel so warm. Have you got a collection there. of slippers? Nah, you take them home? Yeah, I take them home sometimes, mate. I've got like loads of pairs and <laughs> I've stuck to them. I, my mum's always onto me like, you've got to throw them away at some point. Like they come over and they're like finished, like battered. And I'm like, nah, nah, these are from when I scored here. And it's like, wait, let them go. Yeah, to be fair, these ones I get a little bit frustrated with because my foot hangs off the end of them. I feel like <laughs> yeah, I'm having yeah, to yeah. drag my foot along. So I can't get on with them ones. Heel back all day yeah. at the end of the day. And that. Um, so yeah, I, yeah, more of a sliders guy than slippers. I'm having a look, see what else is in here. Yeah, essential for me is Xbox. If some people play PlayStation, um, like we said, a lot of free time is going to have to be to be killed. It's going to be different out there, so it's a good way to still interact with friends at home and of course just take your mind off things, some chillax time in your room. So yeah, I think that's essential for me. I actually play PGA Tour 2K22 Golf. <laughs> Um, obviously, I play FIFA and that as well, but the golf one, I've got a little career mode going at the minute. So, <laughs> my, oh, yeah, Xbox, I'll, I'll 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 to Tiger Woods, it's, 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 oh, mate, it's unreal. It's his game. I swear to God, it's unbelievable. A few of the lads play it. I think Pickers is on it. Um, I think Maguire's got it as well. Um, but I know Pickers plays it because he spoke about it before. So, yeah, I think they're the main two. I play COD, but COD for me, I lose my head at COD, man. Mm. Golf's like, it just makes me happy, isn't it? <laughs> I'm sat there like, yeah, what a shot. Like, I sat at home just buzzing off a game. <laughs> I'm being serious. Um, but yeah, no, I think, yeah, Xbox is essential for me. Next one, some earbuds. I'm a big fan of like my music. I like just, you know, sometimes when I'm in my room, I just put them in and kind of just chill instead of watching a film if I get bored or something or I can't find anything. So I just watch, listen to some music. Um, I like, like, I listen to new stuff until it gets like rinsed. And then when I get bored of it, I always go back to like the older stuff. So yeah, that's. I think that's crucial as well before games as well. You want to like get into your zone and you want to find what music's get you ready for the game. I like this song called 22 Twos by Jay-Z. 
because I wear 22 as well. So I've always like, before a game, I have to hear it once at least. And I always just listen to that. Dreams and nightmares, Mink oh. Mill. <laughs> Essential. Yeah. But do you know why it's good though? Because like it gets like I see see like NFL players like when they win a championship or like before a game they're like listening to it in the change room like videos going on TikTok and everyone's just pumped up yeah. and when it just drops like you listen to that before a game I like just put just makes you so aggressive. Yeah, yeah. You just want to go out and smash someone yeah. in the tackle or something. <laughs> but that song's like, yeah one of the best. That. Yeah. The last essential item for me is a basketball. Um, I think last year we had unreal memories here at the Euros. We had a basketball court. Um, and it killed so much time, there's competitions going on. I always liked basketball to be fair and yeah, the competition was really good. So hopefully in Qatar at our hotel, I know there's loads of different things set up and some of the lads, we can have some fun again. Cause I know last year, this was, was one of the, like, the best memories that we had was, was playing basketball on the court. The <laughs> yeah, no, if he wants it, he can have it. He's a cheat, <laughs> he's a cheat. So I, yeah, I've, I've learned, I can't play with, he kept pulling me back and also making fouls and, yeah, so if Mason wants to rematch, come and get it. <laughs> you played it bare. Yeah, you played it bare. Well, you know what it was, yeah, like... You got better, though, is it? Yeah, I got better, you know, but Jaden posted that clip of me at the start of the camp, like, airboard one, and it, like, I threw it like a netball in it, and every, well, the amount of people that messaged me, like, you're a disgrace, how can you not throw a basketball in that? <laughs> I was thinking, bro, I'm not playing again ever again, I swear to God. And we have one at Dortmund, and the lads play it, and I'm like, nah, no way I'm playing. Last item for me is the Uno cards. Um, it's not always like necessarily Uno that I'm playing, to be fair. We have a couple games at Dortmund that we like. Uh, one's called like Liar, um, one's called uh, Wolf, and then uh, there's another one, Brain or something like that, where, you, um, where you've got to like wait till the person says the number in order on these cards. And yeah, Torgan Hazard is like, the best at all these games so like I just spend hours in hotels trying to beat him really so yeah and, like, I don't play with these like yeah, some of the some of the stuff I hear from end games gets gets a bit too much for me so yeah I don't really play here too much about Dortmund yeah nah yeah what is that one all the, what, the lads yeah. play you know I forgot what it's called Ludo Ludo, it's called. Ludo. yeah yeah that's a really good game that's kind of Cody's game yeah Connor Cody's Mate, game I that. sit just just in front of him on the bus on the way to games. I can never hear him stop screaming. He's always screaming, oh, you did this, you're cheating, you're doing that. <laughs> yeah. Honest, and he's the biggest cheater ever as well, man. So I never want to hear it from him, but yeah, he's always playing proper loud behind me. These were our essential items. That was kit bag. I still love it, but it just ain't the same.